Hey guys, welcome back to another Premiere Pro CC tutorial. I'm your host, Gilly Gill. Today, we're gonna talk about one of the most important elements of your video, which is audio. When it comes to the audio aspect of your videos, you need to make sure that you're not constantly keeping your audio at one level. Let's say we have a part of our video where there's someone speaking, we also have a music track. We need to be able to decrease that music track so that the, the vocals of the video are not competing with your background music. We call that ducking the audio. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to duck the audio as to not interfere with your vocals. Let's get started. Okay, so inside Premiere Pro, I have a project open of the recent vlog, and it is starting with a B-roll sequence, as you can see here, based on these first few clips, there is no audio because they are slow motion clips. And then we come into the speaking part of the video. We don't want the background audio to compete with what I'm talking about. We've already imported all of our video footage and we have our song down here. This one comes from one of my favorite sites to get royalty free music. That is Epidemic Sound. I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys can check it out. They've got a huge library of really, really amazing music. Make sure you click the link in the description. What we'll do is open the audio track in the source panel and we're gonna scrub this track to find the best part to start our video. Okay, so we got some really chill, kind of calm music and I like where the song starts right about here. So let's mark an end point using I. Okay, nice. And we don't need too much of it, so we're gonna just scrub ahead a bit, mark an out point, and then we're gonna drag it into our timeline. If you find that you don't have a lot of room um, on the audio track side, you can grab this center bar here and just slide everything up a bit. That gives you more room to work with your audio. What we'll do is grab and stretch this song out so that it goes into where the vlog actually starts, where our voice comes in. We want the music to be prevalent during all this slow motion stuff because there isn't any audio happening in the background. So let's hit playback. And you can notice the audio levels are bouncing well up towards zero. We want to keep that somewhere around negative six. So let's grab this audio. You can see there's a line right in the middle. Grab that and drag it down a couple dBs so that it normalizes around negative six. Perfect, that's great. So now what we need to do is decide at what point are we going to drop the volume of the music so that once we reach where the vlog starts, we can hear me talking and not have to compete with that background music. And we're gonna do it like this. I like to split my transitions um, with a little bit more room so it's not a sudden drop in the music. This is a gradual fade. So what we'll do is right on this timeline where we dropped the, the loudness of this track, we're gonna hit Control or Command and click right there. You can see it changes to a plus sign. But you have to be hovering over that center line. We're gonna click right there and essentially this is adding a keyframe to our audio level. Now I'm gonna move ahead as we get into me talking a little bit. Let's say somewhere around right there. And same thing, control or command, right on the line, we're gonna click and that's gonna add another keyframe. We haven't really changed the level of it yet. We're just deciding the two points in which this track will play at a certain level it's gonna start changing right here at our first keyframe, and then by the time it reaches this keyframe is our second change. All we have to do is grab this keyframe and pull it down. And all the way down, you're not gonna hear anything at all. So it's gonna go from, and you can check where it is exactly by going up here to the audio clip mixer, hit playback. You can see on audio two, which is where our audio track is, it's peaking at around negative six and then gradually drops to nothing. Okay, so we found a point in the video where we have normal music playing, it's at a good level. 
we get into some talking, and then we need to duck the audio out. We brought it down, so let's move ahead into the video to a point where we're going to start with zero music, and then we're going to gradually bring that music up to an acceptable level. Okay, so a little further ahead in our project, we have a point where I'm going to kind of throw back to Veronica, who shot some clips on a trip that she took recently, and she is beginning her sequence with some travel B-roll. So we have this clip here is me describing what I'm about to throw back to. So this is a great opportunity for us to gradually increase the audio, make the B-roll have some music to it, and then she will begin speaking and we'll drop that music out again. Just for the sake of demonstration, and let me be honest, uh, this isn't exactly a, an audio clip that I would use for this, we're gonna take some of the slower part of this music track. Let's start it somewhere around here. Okay, we'll stop it there, and then we'll take this little clip and we'll drag it down into the timeline. Now, like I said before, I like to add a little bit of leading room, so we'll extend this into my clip a little bit. And then as you can see, we've extended it into where she begins talking as well. So just like before, let's zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on here. We have the center line. Let's verify that it's at an acceptable level. Okay, so it's up a little bit high. We'll drop it down just a touch. Right where this clip starts, we need to be at that full volume. So we'll park the playhead there. We will command or control click to add a keyframe here. Go back into the uh, previous clip, command and control, and then we'll drag that down. And then the same for as Veronica begins to speak in her next clip, right about here, right about here we need to be an acceptable level. So we're gonna exchange in the middle. So just about where the clip starts to, to swap into the next one, we'll command and control click, add a keyframe. And right about here, we're going to command and control click and add another keyframe and drop this out. Now let's play that back. So let's catch up with what Veronica was up to. Notice that we're keeping a um, pretty consistent level at negative six. Morning, everybody. We... And as you can see, these little red lights up here on the audio meter tells us that we peaked out at a point, okay? And I think it's gonna be right where she was talking and the music isn't still, isn't quite at a acceptable level. They're both together making the master track peak. So what we can do is click on this first keyframe and then we will hold shift and click on the second keyframe. And we're gonna click and hold that. And then you'll notice if you don't hold shift, you can kind of move this all over the place. But to constrain it, if you hold shift when you click it to move it, it will keep it in the same line. So we're just gonna scoot that back a bit and we will check and make sure that we don't get that red peak meter. And to make those go away, you just click on it and it'll disappear. All right, let's see what we've got. We've taken uh, a B-roll sequence We've gradually increased the background music to meet an acceptable level, and then we've decreased it to meet the next talking point. And that is essentially ducking audio. There is a case where, and I do this in my vlogs a lot, I will punch into the next scene, and that excludes a gradual fade from one to the other. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so at the end of my vlogs, I always do the same thing. I'll, I'll say my piece, and then I will cover the camera with one last like line. And then I go to an end card template. What I like to do is punch in the audio at the moment I cover the lens. And instead of gradually fading into that, it's almost an immediate change in the audio level to justify me covering the lens. So I like to choose a point in the audio where there's some sort of hit, the beat drops, something, something happens in the audio that kinda is right on the beat. Like this point right here. which kind of helps accentuate me covering the camera lens and this sudden increase in music that wasn't there before. So we'll take that end point, we'll stretch it out for a few seconds, and we'll drop it right in line with where I cover the camera. So, okay, that's okay on its own, but we, I always like to 
again, put some leading room before the audio actually hits. And we can see that the downbeat is slightly off. So what we can do is park the playhead right at the end of the clip. Make sure that the audio clip is selected. Hold Alter Option and the left arrow key. And we can nudge this clip frame by frame. So right when that, right when that cuts to black, we're going to get the downbeat of this audio track. Now I'll expand the audio track a bit, and I'm going to add a keyframe right there, Command and Control click. I'm going to add another one right beside it, Command and Control click. And what I'm going to do is just drag this down to about half, and it's almost right beside it. And that's where we're going to leave it. And then, just so it doesn't like start abruptly, watch. Like this video, subscribe if you aren't with notifications on. Which in this case, it actually isn't that bad, but I like to fade into it. So what we'll do is towards the beginning of this, we're going to do command or control click, add a keyframe. We're going to drop it down to zero. That way our music slowly reaches some sort of build right before this punch. And then at the beat, it comes to full volume. And we know that this clip at full volume is a little hot. So we'll take this part of the track and we'll drop it down just a touch. Nice. All right, so this is what that sounds like. And I will see you right back here next time. There we go. Very nice. So we can use audio ducking to gradually fade in to an acceptable level on that audio track, or you can punch into it by making a keyframe and then one frame after it, make another one where it dramatically changes. And that's called audio ducking. Trust me, you want to spend some extra time on the audio side of your videos because Audio is very, very important to creating the right kind of mood for whatever video it is you're trying to produce. All right, guys, that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you aren't with notifications on, and I'll see you on the next one.